Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. I last played this game about two years ago, and at the time I ended it at the end of book three. And of course, Dreamfall Chapters has chapters to it, it's episodic. At the time, that was the last book to have been released. And in the intervening years, the rest of the books have come out. And in addition to that, there's also been a final cut edition of this game, which is kind of like an enhanced edition. Apparently they've made a lot of changes and really improved it. So it might be for the best that I waited so long. Of course, the negative effects of waiting so long is that I really do not remember what's been happening. What did I do for the first three books? Well, I guess we'll both find out. <laughs> Hopefully it comes back to me pretty quickly. All right, let's begin book four, Revelations. And something seems to be weird. I don't know if you noticed that texture was super low res. I do not know why it looks like that. My visual settings are on high. I don't see any specific setting for texture resolution. But, like, why is it so low? I don't know. Maybe I'll go for awesome. We'll see if that does anything. Oh wow, that made a huge difference. Zoe? Wait, there's a talking raven? What is this? I'm kidding, I remember the raven. Zoe? Or crow. I'm sorry, it's a crow. It's called crow. Zoe? Shoo, bird. Oh, shoo yourself, you big hairy lug. What in Charles' name it? I know you. You arrived with that Stark girl yesterday. You're her bird. Her bird? I am my own bird, I'll have you know. Her bird. Pfft. The nervous on people. Besides, I lost her. She done gone vanished on me. I am, it seems, an expert at misplacing beautiful young women. She's not misplaced. She's with... The Resistance. The Resistance. So she did find the Rebels. And she didn't think to tell me. Well, some friend she turned out to be. Well, to be fair to the girl, it wasn't entirely... Uh, uh, voluntary. What do you mean? They kidnapped her. Crow to the rescue! Uh, so, where exactly did they kidnap her to? I'm not supposed to... Well, I reckon the chances of you being an Azadi spy are rather remote. And that poor girl could probably use a friend. Do you know the old Sentinel Library outside the city? It's in ruins now, but beneath it, in the Enclave, you'll find your girl. Unless they took her egg, in which case... Hold on, Zoe! Hold on to your head! I'm on my way! Oh, Vic, the... the ever-thirsty. Aye, that's me. What can I help you with, Da? A bit too early in the day for a drink, is it not? <laughs> We're taking you in for questioning in relation to Azadi property that was stolen in your establishment the other evening. Oh. Well, I'm afraid I know nothing about that, Da. Ah, uh, I believe that's in reference to the tools I stole. I don't remember why I stole them, but... Um... 
I, for some reason, when I start. <laughs> um. <laughs> I guess those are the dogs of the menu. <laughs> They're the only sound that plays, just the dogs hanging out here in the menu. They're off screen, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, for some reason I couldn't jump straight into this book when I loaded up the game. I think it was some weird save weirdness. It loaded the save games from the cloud because I had uninstalled this game a while ago. Um, but when I started it up, it started to me at the very, very, very end of book three. So I had to like play for just a little bit. And then it took me through the summary screen telling me all the choices I had made. And I just briefly looked at them to kind of jog my memory a little bit. And one of them was that I had decided to like steal the tools in the tavern and that it was noticed. So I believe that's what they're referencing. Then this should be quick. Please come with us, Mr. Uh, ever thirsty. And what about my tavern? My customers? It's the reaping. People expect the taps to be open and the beer to be flowing. I, they're going to have to visit some other establishment today. I trust you got some sleep last night? I would have, if you guys believed in bedsheets and pillows. You are fortunate to be alive, girl. Who are you? Why do you ask questions about the Resistance? Um, I don't remember. Or maybe it's better to mention the Rebels. On the other hand, asking for the rebels is what got me into trouble in the first place. Deny everything? No, that wouldn't work. I'll keep it simple. Or maybe it's better to mention the rebels. I'm Zoe. I need your help. Our help? With what? I didn't know who else to ask. I need to get to the Purple Mountains. The what? I don't know where that is. What about the Ular? I'm sorry. Abnaxus? Of the Venar? I have heard of the Venar, but they left the Northlands. And Abnaxus? Maybe a whisper? Long ago? Nothing more. I cannot help you. Oh, damn. Is there anyone here who would know? Perhaps. But you haven't answered my question, girl. Why should we help you? For all I know, you're an agent of the Azadi. No, I'm... Zoe! She's Zoe! Balance? Don't you dare touch her head. She's on an important mission! I see. And who are you? Crow! Honorary rebel, long-term avian buddy, and occasional sidekick of April Ryan. Rebel leader, adventurer, hero, savior of the balance. That's right! Here's Crow. This is him. I'm me. So... Where's April? She can vouch for Zoe. They're best friends, tight as two chicks in a nest. I don't see April. Is she out on a mission, or sleeping in, or...? Why are you both looking at me like that? I... I thought you knew. Knew what? What's going on? What? April Ryan is dead, Bird. She was assassinated during an Azadi raid on Miria the winter before last. She died a hero's death, and was given a hero's burial. We remember her fondly. What? I'm so, so sorry. Crow! Crow! Okay, I'm an idiot. I've heard of this bird. Crow. So, you knew April Ryan? We met. A couple of times. I... I was there when she died. I found her. I tried to save her, but... I couldn't. So, yeah, I guess I knew April. You're the Stark girl. The one who dreams. They spoke of you. Bakim, Bryn, Chawan. They said you were one of us. 
Oh, this certainly changes things. But how did you... He's gone. Of course he's gone. I should have seen that coming. It's not like he could just let Kian go without... Ugh, he's such a... Oh. Oh. Hey! Your hair, it's so pretty. Thanks. Who's gone, Enu? What? Oh, oh, Liko. He vanished in the middle of the night, chasing Kian, of course. Idiots, the both of them. And when I played the very last section of Book 3, um, I had to make a choice. I was like trying to escape up on some lift thing up to an airship as Kion. And I had to make a choice whether to uh, take Liko with me. And I chose to take him. I'm pretty sure that's the choice I made before because that's the choice I made again. Um, I don't remember why we're getting to the airship though, and I I know Liku, uh, Liko kind of hates me, but is kind of begrudgingly liking me, and I don't remember why they hate me in the first place. Maybe this is for the best. If Liko can help Kian... Kian? Big Azadi guy. People call him the Apostle. You know him? We met once, briefly. He was kind to me. But isn't he the enemy? Was. He's with us now. Defected. Uh, yep. Well, except that he abandoned us again to go on a crazy suicide mission He to... left last night. Of course. After everything that's happened, we just miss each other. Uh, oh, Enu. This is... Zoe. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Enu. You're so pretty. Uh, that came out wrong. Want to be friends? Oh, sorry. Zoe needs our help. She has questions. Maybe you of can... Of course! No problem. Leave this to me, Shepard. I'm sorry for questioning you, Zoe. And I'm sorry I could not be of any assistance. Please, stay. Speak with Enu and the others. Perhaps someone here has the answers you're looking for. Thank you, Shepard. Where are you from? Your clothes are amazing. Where did you get them? They came with the jump. I'm from Stark. That's... Across the divide, on the flip side of the balance, the world of science. Are you serious? That's incredible. I have so many questions. I don't even know where to start. I... I'm... I am seriously worried my head might explode. I think I need to sit down. Oh, don't explode. I'm not that special. I mean, you're orange and the ears... Uh, I'm just a boring old zid. It's totally normal. Holy crap, Stark. I can't believe it. How did you get here? Are you a... are you a shifter? A dreamer. I just... dream myself here. Just dream yourself here. That's it. No biggie. You are the best thing I have ever seen. Seriously. <laughs> really? Okay. Thank you. So, what do you need help with? Shepard said... I'm trying to find the Purple Mountains. And a tribe of magical creatures called the Ula, someone, a Venar named Abnaxus, told me Whoa, to- Oh, slow down. Okay. Purple Mountains, Ular, Venar, Abnaxus, right? Nope. None of that sounds remotely familiar. I have never heard any of those words before. Of course, there are a lot of things I don't know. I'm a- I mean, I was a farm girl. A silly zidling. There's so much I don't know. But I do know where to look for answers. Oh? Where? The library. The library holds all the answers. Do you have libraries in Stark? Never mind, silly question. Of course you don't. I'll go to our library right now and start looking. Purple Mountains, Ular, Abnaxis of the Venar. Come find me when you're ready. I can't wait to spend more time with you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and who's adorable? New character unlocked. What does that mean? Huh? This must be new to, uh, I guess probably the Final Cut edition, I'm assuming. April Ryan. Well, since I'm trying to refresh my memory, I'm gonna read this. April Ryan was born in our world in the year 2191. When she was 18 years old, she learned that she was a shifter a person capable of opening portals between the twin worlds of science and magic. April traveled from Stark, the world of science, to Arcadia, the world of magic. There she learned of a great threat to the balance between the twin worlds. Believing this to be her destiny, she set out on a long journey, the longest journey, 
to save the balance accompanied by her best friend Crow. Following these events, April and Crow spent several years traveling the Northlands before events led to their estrangement. After the Azadi invaded the Northlands, April joined the resistance and she soon became their leader. It was during her time as rebel leader, then It was during her, this is misspelled, it's during her time as rebel leader that April met Zoe, and Zoe helped April regain her faith in humanity and in herself. But Zoe couldn't save April's life. April was killed by Azadi's soldiers in a raid on the rebel base in Miria, the swamp city, after Kian Alvane inadvertently led the Azadi forces there. The body was burned in a traditional Mirian funeral, but her presence is still felt amongst the rebels. A round table? Check. Chivalrous knights? Check. Magic? Check. That's right, this would make for a great theme restaurant. I forgot how good the voice acting was in this game. It's really good. It's always fantastic. You know, voice acting's always been one of the strongest parts of the whole Longest Journey series, starting with April Ryan in the very first one. Amazing voice acting. I'm used to playing so many games that have flashlights. It's weird not to have a flashlight. Also, I think I was playing on a controller before, and now I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, so we'll see how this goes. They look ready to go to war. I hope they won't have to. I wish I could have been more helpful and inviting. If I'd known... I understand. You have to be cautious. There's much I'd like to ask you. Much I'd like to learn. But with Kian gone, my workload has increased twofold. Perhaps another time, when we're both not so preoccupied. I'd like that. I don't know what your mission is, but I have a feeling it's important, and that our destinies are entwined. We shall speak again, Zoe Castillo. When the winds have quieted, the clouds have parted, and the grass on the Great Plains stands straight and tall once more. I feel like it's going to be really hard for me to remember that her name is Zoe Castillo and not Zoe Castellanos. Been playing too much The Evil Within. Also forgot how good the character animations were. Super nice. Look at that jaunty jog. I'm not the one you should be speaking to. Try Shepard. Or Enu. She's in the library. Or maybe the general, if you can find him. Is there like a map or something? I imagine there's a journal. What is this? Let me take a look at the controls real quick. Oh, apparently this is my journal. The character library. I guess maybe as Zoe in this place I don't have a journal or something? I'm not sure. There are fewer rebels than I thought. Having seen what they're up against, I'm worried. Yeah, if I remember right, the rebel resistance wasn't looking too hot. Oh, this looks like the library. There's Inu. Naxus, Purple Mountains, Ular... Ula, 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 Ula. <laughs> nope, nothing, no. I don't remember this at all, I have the Purple Mountains or... Ular. I mean, I do remember Abnaxus, of uh, course. Bugs, please don't fail me now. Enu's really weird and very sweet, and I like her On a lot. On abscesses. Ooh, nope. That's a different type of ab. <laughs> uh, touch? 
The Turtle Mountains. I have hmm? to resist this intense Believe desire to, to stroke her yellow three fur. three titan turtles that rose I don't think that'd be kosher. <sighs> Interesting. Sure. Relevant. No. There must be something in one of these books that'll help you find what you're looking for. I'm gonna keep looking until I find it. Okay, so I guess I gotta come back later. Give me a little more time? Yeah. I'm still searching. I'm sure. Ooh. Are you someone? Or the wall. Olympus, nope. Oxman, Oigard, Ozers. So I hope Annie no finds a clue anywhere. in one of these books. Shadow. Okay, so we should probably go find someone else to speak with. Let's see what's this way. Hmm? They kept me locked up in one of those cells all night. This may not be a prison, but it's not far from it. One night in a cell was plenty. I have no wish for a repeat visit. Perhaps I should go downstairs? I think that's the only other way I can go. Oh, wait. I think I was supposed to speak with Crow. Find Crow and talk to him. Yeah. I'm so, so sorry, Crow. I thought you knew. It's fine. It's not your fault. I just can't... I can't believe she's gone. But I sort of knew, you know. I felt it in my heart. And that final time we were together, it wasn't... It wasn't like it used to be. It was weird. Like too much time had passed and we drifted apart. I should have known it wouldn't last. How can you ever know something like that? How can you ever... He's not alone in feeling that. I know that feeling. It's something you just have to learn to live with. I know. I will. Were you there when she... Perhaps better to avoid the topic and get him thinking about other things. Nah. Let's give him some closure. I was there. I saw it happen. I tried to help her, to save her. I know I was supposed to, but I... couldn't. Not your fault. Bad things happen. People die. Life goes on. Anyway. Did I help with, you know, the rebel thing? Did they believe you? That you're not a spy? You did. They do. It's fine now. They'll help us. Good. 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 They're not gonna cut your head off? What? No? Good. Good. I wish I could have been more helpful. But it was ten years ago. And I didn't really pay attention to what April said about that Abnaxis chap. It's okay. If you don't mind, I need to be alone for a little while. Clean my feathers, sharpen my beak, reflect on the nature of life. Bird stuff. Totally understand. I'll find you in the city. Alright, Inu should be done. Library? Show me what you're made. I've been trying to find a book or a scroll or a manuscript or a map or a torn note page or ancient magical tome or a pamphlet or a piece of cloth that mentions the purple mountains or the ular, but no luck. It's really frustrating. This library has never let me down before. Bad library. <laughs> she seems so curious about me, and I haven't asked her a single question. There must be something here. This is where I try to connect and make friends. She seems so cute. This is you just joined the resistance? Oh, yes. Uh, no. Not really just. About half a year ago? Wait, more than that. Time flies when you're having fun. Well, fun. Sometimes you need to make the best out of a bad situation. 
Right. And it's my duty. We're doing good, important work here. Also, I didn't want to end up living the life my parents wanted for me. I can identify with that. This is so nice. I wish we were sisters. Can we be sisters? You don't have to answer that. Um, do you have any siblings? I did. Uh, sort of. Long story. You? Oh, lots. Boyfriend! Do you have one of those? I do. I think. We haven't spoken in a while, and he doesn't know. I think we need to have a long talk when I... If I get back home. It's been a very tough year. For the both of us. I was asleep for a long time. I forgot a lot of the stuff that happened to me before I fell asleep. I tried to remember, but I couldn't. Until my memories caught up with me. Oh, Jesus. It's a long story. Very complicated. Maybe another time? Find out the story in the sequel to Dreamfall Chapters, The Longest Story. Yes, uh, please? She seems so curious about me, and I haven't asked her a single question. Enu, right? I don't feel we were properly introduced. I know you are. I mean, no, uh, yes. <clears throat> you're right. Enu. I am Enu. I hope you're staying a while. It would be so great to have someone around who's not a surly warrior with mommy issues, or a stoic leader, or a battle-hardened soldier, or just batshit insane. I mean, there's Jakai. He's pretty normal. Except for his aunt issues, but he's a bit too... Ugh. Hey, so, uh, what do you do when you're not saving the world? Neural programming. I mean, I did. Then my world shut down, and now I just watch a lot of shows and eat. Uh, uh, sorry. Didn't understand any of that, but it was still amazing. Tell me again? Maybe next time? I can't wait to talk more about all these things we have in common. We must have a sleepover. There must be something here. There must. So, no luck? Nothing. Sorry. And I've read most of these before. I can't remember coming across any of those words you mentioned. There's not much else to do here in the evenings except read. I don't really have any female friends. It gets lonely. Anyway, I've been through all the encyclopedias and travelogues, but... Nothing about the Purple Mountains or the Ula. Nothing. I mean, the Purple Mountains sounds colloquial. It may have a different name officially, but the Ular, there should be something about them. It's a magical race? They didn't look human. Weird there's nothing about them. They must be very isolated, or... Or? Or someone's trying to hide something. Which would be weird and very hard to pull off. Forget I said that. I'm on a deadline. I should just cut this short. I guess I'll have to look elsewhere. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I really thought I'd find something. I feel terrible. I... Do you want to be my friend? I already asked you that. I'm coming on too strong, aren't I? I am, I can tell. Stop it, Enu. No, not at all. That's... I'd love to be friends. And thank you for helping me. Much good that did. I really wish I knew who else could... For the love of the festering demon shrimps of Jaharva, do I have to do everything in this place? I didn't spend all those years living on the streets of Mercuria, pilfering food and liberating fat purses to deal with this shite. I swear I'd be better off going back to sleeping in Abnaxus's stone tree if I can't even get a mattress that isn't flea and maggot infested. Do your bleeding jobs, people. Is that too much to ask? Sorry about that. Disregard him. Not important. There must be something in this library. Blind I'm Bob. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep digging until Sounds I Sounds familiar, but I don't remember w exactly how I know them. Blind Bob? Eh? What? Who's asking? Well, blessed be me straight britches. You're the last what brought me mulled wine back when I'd hit rock bottom in Mercuria. What in the name of the eight-eyed octo-god of Tartillus are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Except for, you know, uh, not, not those words, exactly. Oh, I left me life of beggaring behind. Cleaned myself up. Joined the resistance. I'm a general now. 
I'm making a difference. He was theoretically blind, but now he can see. It makes less and less sense the more I think about it. I just can't imagine how the blind Bob I met in Mercuria turned into this man. It's an impressive transformation. How did you end up with the Rebels? Not long after you and I met, I overdosed on mulled wine. Spooked me good, that did. I figured I had two choices. Either spend the remainder of my days in the gutter, stinking of foreign spices and currants, and, to be honest, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of days left. Or I could clean myself up, try to amount to something after a lifetime wasted on wine, women, and various gutters. The moment I looked up, I saw how the Azadi were running magicals out of Mercuria. I couldn't ignore it. It was disgraceful. I mean, magicals always treated me with kindness and respect. I felt I owed them. So, here I am, doing my part and paying my debts. Aside from the gambling and the bar tabs, mind you. And I feel twenty years younger to boot. He was theoretically blind, but now general. Are you an actual general? Aye. See these stripes? General Bob, that's me. I takes care of the logic sticks round here so the place don't crumble to pieces. Shepherd's busy with the strategering. Kian sorts out who to murder and how. Liko makes a fine job of being contrary. And Enu keeps everyone's spirits up. I mean, when she's not shooting Azadi soldiers in their eyeballs with her bow and arrow. Me, I make sure the ladder's stocked, the sheets are clean, relatively speaking, and that the piss pots are empty. Can't go to war on a full bladder. What happened to your theoretical blindness? Cured! I was blind, theoretically, but now I can see. To be honest, some days I wonder if I ever was theoretically blind, or if it was all hypothometaphysical. You know, just in my head, like. Oh, um... It was simpler being blind Bob and resorting to beggaring and vagrancy than taking a long, hard look at myself in a speculum, particularly on account of the blindness. I wish me old pa could have lived to see me. He always believed in me, even when I didn't. To the bitter end, he told me I had potential. I nodded and wept and promised him I'd try my best. Then, as he drew his last ragged breath, I stole his purse and his breeches. Well, Pa, I'm sorry about the breeches. I'm making something of life now. Making something of myself. I'm no longer blind, Bob. Call me Bob who can see. Didn't he just mention Abnaxus? Or was that my imagine? It's a long shot, but... I vaguely remember Theoretically Blind Bob. I think we might have met them in earlier books, but I think our first encounter was back in Dreamfall. Yeah. Didn't he just mention Abna- Do you know someone called Abnaxus? Abnaxus? Now there's a name I haven't heard spoken in years. Where do you know it from? Sorry, I just overheard. Actually, I met Abnaxus recently. Well, I dreamed about Abnaxus. Or maybe it was more like a vision. This sounds crazy, I know, but- Sounds completely sane to me, lass. Abnaxus turning up in visions, hmm? That's exactly the sort of fellow he was. Persistent, unpredictable and not a little annoying. I met him when he was the Venar ambassador to Irid. Uh, this was before the gutters, when I was still a dapper chap on the Mercurian party circuit. We hit it off, especially seeing as I was going blind, theoretically, and he saw everything, past, present, and future. Years later, as he was leaving town, he entrusted me with the key to his home, said to take care of it. I'd sleep there from time to time. Very uncomfortable buck. Musty smell of ancient books and foreign weeds. 
I didn't much care for it, to be honest. I'm sure he said key. And where there's a key, I'm sure he said key. You said something about a key to Abnaxus's house? They called it the abode back then. Abnaxus's abode. Primitive accommodations, but luxurious location. Prime real estate. Central with a garden view. Very quiet at night. And the key? D do you still have it? Sorry, this is really important. Oh, I, I carry it with me every day. After all, it is a magic key. Figured it might do me lumbago some good. W what about this house? I mean, the abode? Ah, also still there, and not hard to find. Sits right circle in the centre of the city green. Abnaxus carved it out of a petrified tree with his own morbidly huge hands. A few years ago, the authorities turned it into an historical landmark. Of course, no one can get inside on account of the Venar magic. Not without the key, at least. This key? Can I... Oh, sure. Heavier than it looks, ain't it? Hmm? More powerful than iron. Worth its weight in precious stones, and then some. This magic goes back to the first magic. None of that modern hocus-pocus. You feel it in your fingers when you hold it. Tingles, don't it? It does. Sorry, I know this is asking a lot, but can I... Borrow it? Why? Why not? I stun the lumbago no good. And I don't have much use for the place, now that I've a proper bunk here. But keep it safe. Abnaxus left most of his belongings behind and entrusted me with their care. I'd hate to betray that trust. I promise. I didn't ask about the Purple Mountains. I'd love to chat, Lassie, but I have duties to attend to. There are piss pots that need empty, and people to command into doing it. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Should I tell... I should probably tell Enu. But you can stop looking, right? Hey, I made progress. Blind Bob, I mean, the general, gave me the key to Abnaxus's house. I might find what I'm looking for there. That's great! Oh, I wish I could come with you. But there's this whole furry thing I've got going on. <laughs> it's a big no-no in the city these days. Oh, sorry about that. Humans can be real dicks sometimes. Yeah. I mean, uh, sometimes. Some humans, not most. You're a good human. Um, what are these dicks you speak of? That's not important. Thanks, thanks again for your help. Are you leaving already? I mean, we just met and, and you'll come back though, right? I hope so. Oh, okay. <laughs> because there's so much I want to talk about, and I'll let you go now. Thanks for talking to me, Zoe. I miss you already. Uh, shut up now. Anu, okay. Uh, thanks. Bye. Bye. All right, speak with Shepard. Who is Shepard? I'm assuming it's this person. Ah, yes. You spoke with the general. Did you find what you were looking for? It's a step in the right direction. Good. I've asked them to ready a boat for you. Whenever you're ready, it will take you into the city. I may not fully understand your role, Zoe, but there's something about you that... I've learned to have faith in the balance. The balance provides. The balance guides. It's guiding you now. You must let it take you wherever it leads, like a leaf on a river. Bend to its will. I'll try. May your gods favor your journey. You'll be in my thoughts and dreams. I'm assuming that's downstairs? Yes.
Now I need to find the city green. I wish Crow was with me. I feel less alone with that silly bird around. Is that Crow over there? It's a bird. It looks like Crow. It's Crow! You're back! And your head's still on! Did you swim? Swim? No, boat. I boated. I mean, they dropped me off. In a boat. Impressive. So, what's the next step on our grand adventure? Tea and biscuits? A hearty nap, perhaps? I need to find the city green and the home of Abnaxus. I visit the city green every day to clean my feathers in the fountain. Follow me. Okay, well I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go to Abnaxus's abode. <laughs>